for context will be testing nematron against this is what Claude 3.5 sonnet built with Claude dev which is now outline so this is a skill sharing platform you list your skills someone asks to be taught by you and then gives a skill in return no monetary transactions so nvidia released a llama 3.170 b fine-tuned model code named nematron it made rounds on social media claiming is better than Claude 3.5, the king of coding, and GPT 4.0. We're going to test coding. We're not going to test 3 RC here. We're really going to test it. So that's the model card. It's a normal transformer based model, not multimodal. So if we go to build.nvidia.com, we'll be able to try it out. The UI is not so good. So you can just use dev tools to remove the right hand pane. It's not important. Let's start with the simple ones. You have a three liter container and a five liter container. How can you measure exactly four liters of water using only these two containers? Of course, you have to fill the five liter, pour it into the three liter, empty the three liter, pour the remaining two liter into the three liter, fill the five liter, then fill the three liter with only one liter, and then you'll be left with four liters in the five liter container. Very simple, late primary school question. Let's see if it gets it. A three liter container fill and then pour it over. You left with two and then fill it and okay. It got it right. On to the next one. So a dead cat is placed in a box along with a nuclear isotope, a vial of poison and a radiation detector. So basically this is a trick question because we say a cat is dead already. So what's the probability of the cat being alive? Should just be zero. This one is very simple, man. Yep, it got it right as well. Another simple one just to test it out because some of these uh, questions it already has in its uh, training set. So a farmer is on one side of a river with a wolf, a goat and a cabbage. Now this is a twist on what's already known. This time we don't say how can you get all of them over. We say how can you get the goat over to the other side. So it's different to the Wikipedia version. When he's crossing the river in a boat, he can only take one item with him. At a time the wolf will eat the goat if left alone together and the goat will eat the cabbage if left alone together how can the farmer transport the goat across the river without it being eaten because the answer is simple he just takes the goat over and then he's done so let's see trip one the farmer takes the goat okay and then okay across the river that's a good start so it mentioned the initial side that there's only the wolf and the cabbage are left the other side is the farmer and the goat trip number two farmer takes the wolf no man this is a fail there's no trip number two here the goat is already over this is a definite fail okay let's check its knowledge cutoff december 2022 and in some categories it's actually after that but nothing too recent i'm surprised since this is a newer model Okay, so how many words are in your response to this prompt? Five words, that's not even five. I can't even count. Ah, there's a definite fail, man. Okay, let's look at the most important LLM leaderboard, which is the ADA LLM leaderboard. So these are coding benchmarks on real problems which need solving, not a to-do app here. So uh, Nematron is way down there, 54.9% of complete tasks. This is... No, man, even GPT 3.5 is better here. No, and some open source models are even better. But let's just test it further. Okay, Reddit went all over this model. Same as Llama 3.170B, but actually a bit worse. Okay, let's test it with code. I want to create a skill exchange platform. So I gave this to... The prompt generator from OpenAI and then it elaborated on the prompt. Let's just tell it to not return this rest of code and existing code comments. We just want working code here. So two users just exchange skills without the need for money. Okay, let's paste it in here because we don't want to start with Ada and Lord Dev, which is Klein, because they are still making it compatible. Okay, paste it in. Hey, give us the project structure. Doesn't tell us how to create it. So what we're going to do is take the project structure and tell GPT-40 to give us a script to create the project structure. 
paste it in our terminal in VS Code. There we go. Voila. Created the structure, which is empty. And the files are empty, as expected. Let's go back to Nemotron. Copy the code and then tell GPT to create scripts to create the contents for us in the files. After it's done, just copy the code, paste it in a terminal. There we go. See the package.json has been created and populated. My other files are still empty, but it's probably getting there. I still need to continue. I think it was out of tokens there. So there's the continuation of the registration. And oh, it's done. Wait, what? And it tells us how to execute the code. Okay, probably not done. Let's go to plot dev or line. And then let's go to settings and set up the open router settings so we can use Nemotron. Uh, search for Nemotron and select it. NVIDIA, nice. Done. Let's check my credit beforehand. $3. I don't have enough subscribers. Make sure you subscribe so we can have more tutorials and like the video. Let's tell it to run the application and fix errors. It line is doing its thing. It's telling us to do some stuff. Oh, nice. Editing the package.json file. I'm using the latest version of Klein that actually has some fixes to the system prompt to discourage LLMs from giving us partial or lazy coding. They change the package.json file. Let's save it. Then if we refresh our activity in open router, we'll see that it's actually now using Llama 3.1 Nemotron rather than our cloud 3.5 sonnet so just verify so you don't incur a lot of costs because nemotron is extremely cheap as compared to the other sort state-of-the-art models like cloud and gpt okay it's telling us some commands to run npm cache clean force run it no issues so far oh it wants us to test the application let's npm start Okay, we get a 404. Let's ask it what's going on. Okay, didn't do anything, but it says we must retry. That's extremely weird, man. Obviously, we're going to get the same result. Okay. Let's help it by adding some files. Uh, the index.html, probably the culprit. Because it just says echo is on. There we go. Giving us some content. I don't see the root there because this is a Vite application. Anyway, wants us to retry. I don't expect anything to happen. Yep. Four four again. Uh, let's try to get it to re retry. He changes the vid config file. It always wants us to retry. It's almost like a very junior developer. Uh, okay, vid is not found. He didn't tell us to npm install it. Okay, now it tells us. Okay, let's see now. All right, no errors so far here. Uh, let's try npm run dev. Okay, let's try the npm start. Nope. Okay, let's give it the vid config. And let's just add all folders. So it has visibility of everything. Maybe that's what it's missing. Okay, it's doing something. It's updating the index HTML file. Oh, there we go. It is good. That's progress. Let's save it. Okay, let's just give it at the prompt again because it says the task is completed, but it's definitely not. Okay, it did something now. There's a different error. Let's paste it in. No, what's it trying to do now? Okay, it's trying to rename the gamification file. The syntax is wrong. 
is retrying to refresh the entire IDE, VS Code IDE. Ah, oh, this is weird. Okay, we get another error here. Let's just give it the error. It's doing something, changing the app.app .app file. Okay, edit gamification. That's good. It's adding stuff. Let's try it again. Dev tools, get an error. Use state is not defined. Let's give it the error. By the way, I didn't experience such schlep when using 3.5 Sonic. Okay, it's updating the skill listing component. Okay, let's start the backend. Then let's make sure the front end is running. Let's refresh. Okay, now it's it has a UI. I don't know whether to call this a UI because it's not user friendly. Let's just give it the error so it can fix it. Okay, it's trying to change the db.js file in the backend, which is using MongoDB. Uh, let's see. Okay, it made some changes there. Just error handling looks like wants us to restart again. Okay, let's just start the MongoDB Docker container. Okay, it's running. Uh, it is a course error now. Now it looks like it's fixing the index.js file. Enable course. And it removed the entire code and it says the rest of the code remains the same my goodness i put it in my prompt and client put it in their prompt as well and the llm is not adhering man. let's go to clients github issues yeah everyone is experiencing this the author of client actually gave some troubleshooting including trying to fix code on your own which is what you do not want to be doing especially in a large code base Okay, I'll give an update when they provide an update. Remember to subscribe and like the video.